Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Sunday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and early, 7 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. All right, in uh, yesterday's video, I think it was, I mentioned about how I stopped for a conversation with some, a group of people. There's several areas around here where people congregate on nice days, and I mentioned in a video how I stopped and chatted, and it turned out that uh, they were a group of uh, conservative uh, Republican Trump supporters. I was the only Democrat. And it was an interesting conversation. I didn't really get more into it in my other video, but I, there's, there's, a, there's something I have to talk about. And this is important because these people, these people firmly believe that Donald Trump is going to run again in 2024. And in their head, the, uh, let me just go over what, what they talked about. All right. I was going, like I said, I was going by on my bike. And what started this whole thing, this whole conversation one of the guys yelled over to me, hey, Daryl, come here. So I came over and they said, and the first thing out of their mouth was, how do you like Biden now? You know, they thought they had me. You know, they expected me to hang my head in shame and go, oh, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a converted Trump supporter. I, I don't know what they, they expected me to say. But I said, what? You know, okay, so the... They basically started off, well, yeah, everything's going to hell, uh, the economy. So I said, well, we've got to be more, be more specific here. What are we talking about? All right. And the first thing they brought up was unemployment. All right. They, they, they brought up the fact that nobody wants to work. This is their claim, right? And I, they talked about uh, the unemployment benefits for the pandemic, the 600 extra a week. And... Uh, they talked about the Biden and this socialist program. And I said, well, well, wait a minute. This whole program didn't, st you know, started back under Donald Trump to help people with the pandemic, you know. And this group of, this group of people, these five or six people, swore to me, they swore to me that this did not start under Donald Trump. No, this, I said, wait a minute. Come on, guys. You know, and I, I honestly, I, I didn't even open my phone. To prove them wrong, I had it right on me. The fact that they truly they, they swore to this, they swore that this six hundred dollar extra unemployment thing it started back in I think it was April of twenty twenty under Donald Trump, of course, you know. And I, I tried to point it out to him. I said Biden just started in January of twenty twenty one. The pandemic started in January twenty twenty. People were laid off uh, unemployed that year. I said, you know, this six hundred dollar. And then I mentioned to him, too, well, it's the Democrats. You know, it, it's the socialist Biden. And I said, no. And I said, on top of that, wait a minute. I said, Donald Trump was president when it started. And on top of that, the Republicans were in control of the Senate, too. I think the Democrats were in control of the Congress. But overall, this, this unemployment, the $600 unemployment uh, package, uh, $600 a week unemployment package, was definitely passed. And it was a good thing it was passed. Uh, by the Republicans, and um, no, no, they weren't having it, so I said, what else you got? They brought up Afghanistan, they brought up how there's thousands of Amer Biden's leaving these poor Americans in Afghanistan, thousands, tens of thousands of Americans, how could he do that? This reeked of the whole Benghazi thing again, and I said, wait a minute, I, I said, if Donald Trump was president right now, you guys would be saying, oh, those guys, those, those, what would these people bring in their families there for anyway? And then I said, besides the fact, I don't think there's any, I, I, don't, I don't think there's really any Americans left there. I'm sure there's more Afghanis that want to leave the country. I think, I think most probably millions of Afghanis, if they had the choice, would be leaving the country. I don't, I don't think that number is ever going to go down. <laughs> because if all the Afghanis that wanted to leave, if they left, there would be no more country. Um, you know, we can't fix everything, but as far as, as far as Americans, so I'm trying to find this number because I said, I, I don't think there's any Americans left there. I think any Americans that really want to get out have gotten out. I, I could be wrong here. So I, the closest I could look up, the closest number I could find was the number of Americans still left in Afghanistan was under a hundred. Uh, and that wasn't even solid. So I, I really don't have an answer to that. But in general, I, I really don't think that there's... That I think that the Americans that want to get out of, out of Afghanistan have gotten out of Afghanistan by now. So that claim goes down the drain. So they bring up gas prices. Biden shut the pipeline. I didn't even know where to start with this. I, I, you know, I said, 
you know, it's it's as if these people don't even acknowledge the fact that these are unprecedented times. You know, seven seven hundred thousand Americans lost. Uh, you know, this this has never happened in the history of our country. And now with people traveling more, supply and demand, and you know, and then I also point out the fact that that pipeline wasn't that that. The, the the product in that pipeline was just going through our country. It wasn't for the United States. Uh, what else? Oh, so they, they brought up the southern border. And how Joe Biden is welcoming in. He's telling all these immigrants to come here. And I said, well, well I said, Biden is not doing that by any way, shape, or form. He's telling you know, everybody in Biden's administration is saying, do not come here. The border is shut. And I know, I know these people have seen this on TV, but they still, no, oh, no, he's, he's got open borders. If Donald Trump was president, they, they'd be scared. They wouldn't come here. They know better. Donald Trump was tough. So I said, wait a minute. You know, what, they, they'd be scared? What, what are you talking about? I said, are you talking about the whole separating family? The whole kids in uh, uh, confinement? Is that what you're talking about? Is that, in other words, that's what you're talking about. Uh, so, in other words, these people are pretty much condoning one of the most hideous things I think our country has ever done is uh, this tactic of Donald Trump. But we still, I, 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 we still probably don't know where half these kids are. Um, thousands of families. You know, this was one of the most inhumane things I think Donald Trump did, and it's one of the most inhumane things. And uh, I point out the fact that Haiti, this American, America first thing. We, we can't, it's just, it's not possible to ignore these uh, asshole countries all around us. We need to, you know, these are our neighbors. We can't just put up walls and pretend they don't exist and just let these countries go to hell. We can't do that. I don't know, it's like, uh, it's like having cancer and you're just ignoring it. It's going to, you know, it's going to metastasize. It's going to get worse. I pointed out the fact that Haiti had two huge earthquakes, hurricanes, which Donald Trump ignored. Besides for throwing a, wait, what was that? That was, no, that was Puerto Rico, where he was throwing out the, the paper towels. And uh, the president was just assassinated. I, I said, these Haitians are, were leaving the country for years back during Donald Trump's presidency. And they were just, they were going anywhere they could to South America, to Central America. Uh, they were doing that during Trump's presidency. And then they just, they, a lot of them were terrified of having their families, their kids ripped away from them with good reason for, uh, so they, they, they avoided the American border, but that wasn't uh, anything to be proud of, Donald Trump uh, tearing apart families. The, the key thing, they, oh, and then they brought up uh, the supply, the uh, container ships off California. And I said, so how, how is that Joe Biden? I said, that, again, that, that's a repercussion of the pandemic. There's, there's you know, we're, we're just starting to see the cause and effect of all these different things. And they said, no, 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 it's because the, the truck drivers. Said, what about the truck drivers? Well, they're getting unemployment and they don't want to go back to work. I said, no. I said, first of all, truck drivers weren't getting laid off because of, they had a solitary job. They didn't get laid off because of, in, in a roundabout way, because the stores closed down. So during the pandemic, a lot of stores, when everything shut down, they didn't need truck drivers. And that, that caused a lot of truck drivers to, of course, have to find other work. Um, and then, of course, the uh, uh, Americans buying things, uh, buying furniture and products and cars in, in numbers we never saw before because they you know during the pandemic they stopped going traveling and they stopped going out to eat and none of these things are, are biden's fault you know these are results of a pandemic a worldwide pandemic that's unprecedented in in our our country's history no 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 it's joe biden's socialist programs so, uh, with a sigh of exasperation, you know, and these, these, these people, I mean, they're good people, but their only information is Fox News. A lot of them, I notice, actually have flip phones. They don't even have uh, iPhones. So they, 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 don't, they can't Google even. Their, their sole information is what Hannity tells them.
what um, Carlson, uh, what's his name, tells them. You know, and like I said, with a sigh of exasperation, I rode my bike away. And uh, that was the conversation. I said, one of the, one of the most unbelievable things is how these people swore to me that uh, the extra six, uh, the three extra six hundred dollar unemployment a week that started under Joe Biden's socialist America, not back in April of 2020 when it actually did start. And they swore, swore to me. Uh, this is what scares me about 2024, because by the time 2024 comes around, these people will be convinced that, that that Donald Trump is a god that did no wrong, you know. And Donald Trump, I'm sure, will do nothing to dispel that fact. All right, you guys have a good Sunday.